These George Washington elementary students are about to discover what it takes to put bread on the table. The first thing they find out is you have to mix the dough. Then you put it in a pan. After it rises, it goes in the oven. And then comes out golden brown. At Heiner's Bakery, it's a little more complicated than that. After all, tens of thousands of loaves of bread roll off the line here every day. Conveyor belts are everywhere here. You could say the bakery is a super highway of bread with loaves headed for several different destinations. The slicer. The bagger. And the loader. Of course, the ultimate destination is your grocery store shelf. But as these students found out, a lot has to happen before the bread gets there. Some of the things they did here is amazing. What did you think was the most amazing sight you well, saw? Well, um, when we went upstairs and there was say 10,000 loaves of bread going into a cooler. My mom, my mom will make one loaf of bread and it's really tiring. <laughs> and then they make all this. <laughs> I thought it was gross. You thought it was gross? <laughs> what was gross about it? The dough. The dough? Squirting out all over the place? Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't too gross when it was cooked, was it? No, it was... It looks good. One thing people who take field trips to Heiner's Bakery also find out is that the bread tastes good, too. Nice, fresh, warm bread right off the Bakery line. We're going to put a little butter on it, and we're going to get to enjoy it. Enjoy it, indeed. Thousands of students from the region enjoy field trips at Heiner's each year. In this way, they get to learn how their bread made, how clean our bakery is, and the quantity that we put out, and they get to see our men, which we have uh, about 325 employees, and they get to see how they work each day. And at the end of a Heiner's Bakery field trip, those employees get a special thank you. Thank you. 